Mr. George Polynome grew up with his mother and two brothers. His father left when he was young. Well, Alvin Polynome was my father, and uh, Elizabeth uh, Polynome was my mother. Uh, he was a concrete driver that drove a concrete truck, and my mother worked at Hubley's Manufacturing in a toy factory. Polynone got his first job when he was about nine years old as a pin boy. About nine, eight, nine years old working in a bowling alley, setting up pins, and got like 50 cents a week. Mr. Polynone went into the Marines after his brother and two of his friends encouraged him to. George was 17 when he enlisted. He completed seven years of school and he finished the rest of his education during his training. As soon as I turned 17 years old, I enlisted. He trained in Camp Lejeune, but traveled to many places around the world. Well, let's see, I went all over the, the world, I guess. I, like, uh, when I got out of boot camp, I went from uh, the, Gulf, the Gulf of the Rock of Gibraltar all the way to Izmar, Turkey, and all the countries be in between. Do you want to hear uh, how many? Seven. Well, I left Moorhead City, North Carolina, May 5th, 1954, and I went to Algiers, Al North Africa, and then from, from there to Port Escuda Bay, Sardinia, and from there to Naples, Italy, and the Port Escuda Bay of Sardinia, and Howard's France, and Cagliari of Sardinia, Genoa, Italy, and Gulf Juan, France, and Arzuz, Morocco, and Naples, Italy again, and mm -hmm. Palma, Spain, and Ismar, Malta, on the island of Malta, and the Bay of Greece, and Ismar, Turkey, and the Icky, Turkey, Keystone, Marseille, France, and back in the North Moorhead City, North Carolina, October 1st for five months on the Mediterranean. Did you, did <laughs> that's, you have, all, uh, that's all the places I've been. Mr. Polynone learned so much more in the Marines than what he would have in school. George thinks that being a Marine made him the person that he is. He regrets getting out of training so soon, but if it weren't for that, he wouldn't have had such a big and wonderful family today. After I got out of the service and got married and had children, in which I'm still married after 60 years, and have my children, all except one which was killed, and I'm very sorry about that.